Hello, everybody. I hope you all are doing very well. And welcome again to our channel. The video today is to talk about Kappa analysis. So, what, what is the Kappa analysis? When you are uh, performing a measurement system evaluation or analysis, but your data is not a numeric continuous, your data is nominal or ordinal, uh, where you have to approve or not approve some parts, you will have to, to analyze this differently. So, for example, here I have a data table to, to perform this analysis to explain to you where to find it in Jump and how to organize the data table and how to organize the platform that will uh, launch uh, the, the analysis. So, let's say that you have five different parts or products. You had uh, three inspectors running this evaluation, these inspections, and each one of them uh, performed this three times. So, for example, the product number, number one, the first inspection, the inspector A said it was pass, a pass, the inspector B said it was a fail, and inspector C said that it was a pass. So here we have a, a non-agreement between them and probably we will have some reproducibility problems. So how to analyze this? Where to analyze this in Jump? This is very common for those that are uh, solving problems investigating some situations in the factory, so this is very, very important. We have, we have to organize the data table like this. Each inspector is a separate column, so we are very used to put uh, a column here called inspector, so A, B, C, A, B, C, and a response variable like the Y uh, saying that it was pass, fail, pass, fail. So here we have to organize this like this data table that, that I have here. So inside of analyze quality and process variability, we have this attribute gauge chart. So Every time that I will run a variability, if I didn't put anything here that was nominal, you will always have this chart type called variability. The moment that I put something that is nominal here, look, the variability platform changed for attribute. So now we have different uh, fields or less fields, fields here to, to put the, the information. And here we have enter raters as separate columns. So to analyze the kappa analysis, we will put all the inspectors here in this Y, this response, and only the product here being the X, being the grouping because Jump will need to understand that uh, different runs were made during this analysis, okay? We replicated the study two or three times, okay? The moment that I put the columns here and the product here, I click OK, and you will have all the Kappa analysis. So we have uh, the agreement report, the agreement comparison, uh, agreement uh, within raters, and here we have our overall kappa. So, uh, minus 0 0.035. If you had any kappa analysis uh, class in your, in your career, 
uh, you know that this, this measurement system is not approved, right? So you have this. This is the Kappa analysis, okay? What can I have uh, that is different here? Let's suppose, and most of the times you know this, you know that the product number one is a pass, the product number, number two is a pass, number three is pass, four is fail, and five is fail, because you choose to, to, to make this like that. You, you forced the situation to be like that. You wanted to have three pass and two fail, so you can have the accuracy situation here. Uh, being analyzed as well. So let's go there again and see what happens. What, what is different now? I will recall here and I, I'm gonna put this standard column here, the standard uh, place. The moment that I put the standard here saying to jump, jump, the, the, the part, the product number one was a pass, so everyone that said pass uh, said correctly and fail said uh, incorrectly, okay? So, the moment that I had the standard uh, in the analysis, I will have more, more, uh, more information to be analyzed. For example, everything related to the effectiveness, okay? So, now I have the effectiveness I have the misclassification and I will have the conformance report with the false alarms probability and the misses probability. One thing to finish this video is uh, you have to be careful here. The assumptions that Jump is having here, uh, because for example, non-conform is fail and conform is pass. So it, it's right, but sometimes it cannot be right, so you, you just go here and change conformity category. Okay, guys? So this is how to perform the cap analysis. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope it, it was new for you. And the, the secret here was how to organize the data table. Okay? Bye-bye. See you on the next one.